Hey y'all, welcome back. It's your girl Britt Reacts and today we are reacting to Anthony Jeselnik, Roast Roseanne. Let's see what he has to say. Our next roaster is Anthony Jeselnik. This fella is famous for his one-liners like, I never touched her. I have an alibi or talk to my lawyer. Whenever I look at Anthony, I see a young, handsome man, probably tied up in his dressing room. Everyone, please clap and pretend like you recognize Anthony Jeselnik. And pretend like you recognize. <laughs> she just wrecked him in that introduction. Wrecked him. Thank you, thank you. When Comedy Central first asked me to be here tonight, I told them to suck my dick. <laughs> and now I'm here. Oh. <laughs> Is Comedy Central still around and do they still do roast? And if not to both of those, I'm deeply saddened. I feel like nowadays the world is so sensitive that roasts maybe don't happen anymore publicly. I don't know. I haven't, I don't watch a lot of cable, so I wouldn't know. But if not, bring back Comedy Central and roast. Let's get that started. Let's round up a petition and get that going. Jane Lynch, I love your show, Glee. Every episode. Keeps I knew she looks familiar. No matter how I think it's going to turn out. There's never a school shooting. <laughs> My good friend Jeff Ross is all dressed up tonight. Yeah, man. Jeff, you look some... Uh, is him dressed up? My good friend Jeff Ross is all dressed up tonight. He started over? Jeff, you look like something a mongoloid kid put together at Build-A-Bear. Oh! I don't know what a mongoloid kit is, but this is reminiscent of something, an outfit I've seen available at uh, Build-A-Bear, so I'll give him that. Build-A-Bear. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the amazing Gilbert Gottfried, one of my favorites. You know, I was surprised to find out that Gilbert has a beautiful wife and two children. I can't even imagine what it's like to have sex with Gilbert Gottfried. But if I want to find out, I'll just ask his kids. <laughs> Gilbert got it, but the audience did not. Gilbert thought it was hilarious. Gilbert Gottfried, isn't he the, isn't he the voice of the bird from Aladdin? I feel like that's how I know him. That's all I know of him, is that he's the voice of, right? Isn't that him? And also there's another movie where he played like a mean teacher or something. I don't know. Vague memories, vague memories. He thought this was a funny, funny joke. He's in Stitches. Amy Schumer, it's been a while. I've got to say you look gorgeous tonight, Amy. And that is some kind of dress. And the best part is that Ryan Dunn's not alive to see it. What's happening? I got death threats last year. Katie Seagal. What? Katie Seagal, you're an incredible actress. You worked on Married with Children, the show that changed comedy. Sons of Anarchy, the show that took drama to a whole new level. And Eight Simple Rules, the show that killed John Ritter. Oh! Oh, that's the mom from Married with Children. Peg, I grew up watching that show. I love that show. Is that show like streamable somewhere? Can I find that on Netflix or Hulu or something? Let me know because I'd love to rewatch those episodes. That show is funny. Show that killed John Ritter. <laughs> she looks phenomenal. I mean, you want to talk about someone who like aged well? She looks incredible. Carrie Fisher, how about another hand for Carrie Fisher? That was amazing. That was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. She's like, yeah, it was. Carrie Fisher, you seem like you're fucking right about to snap, so I don't want to dredge up any old wounds. But your father famously abandoned you. 
so that he could start a new life with the legendary Elizabeth Taylor. But can you blame him? I mean, there isn't a man in his right mind who could possibly resist walking out on you. Thank you. Boo, bitches. Boo. <laughs> Seth Aww. Green is here. You know how everybody has that one weird, creepy uncle? Well, Seth Green looks like he got raped by all of them. Oh, my God. It's Ellen okay. Ellen Larkin, baby doll. Your upcoming TV show, The New Normal, premieres on September 11th. Yeah. When are we going to get to Roseanne? He is firing up everybody else. We don't have much time left. <laughs> yeah. September 11th, that sounds about right. I never thought of that. Every clip I've seen feels like I'm watching a third tower collapse. Oh. <laughs> and Wayne Brady. Wayne, Wayne Brady's I don't there? Why people keep joking that you're not black. Wayne Brady, you are black. After all, I only remember you for all the years you played an uppity slave on Whose Line Is It Anyway? That was good, right? I was good, right? <laughs> Somebody's really and laughing. Now for the Lady of Honor, Miss Roseanne Barr. She also looks phenomenal. Roseanne looks great. Go, girl. Roseanne, your bid for president was a failure. That's real. Well, you've said that you'd like to become Prime Minister of Israel. Did I just learn another new thing today? Was I today years old when I found out Roseanne had a bid for presidency? What year was this? I had no idea, y'all. What? Bid for president was a failure. But you've said that you'd like to become prime minister of Israel one day. And that could happen. Those people are fucking idiots. <laughs> she looks great. I love her outfit, her hair. She looks so good. I mean, Roseanne, what does it say about you that when you accused your father of incest, there was an outpouring of sympathy she for did? your father? She did? Aw. That's true? And Roseanne... Roseanne, even though you're a feminist icon, so many men have gotten rich off of you. Tom Arnold, John Goodman, the guy who owns the Cheesecake Factory. What? She looks, uh, she looks so great. Everyone looks so great. I don't know when this was filmed, but everyone looks so great. She thinks he's, uh, she's in stitches. She thinks he's hilarious. I don't know the Cheesecake Factory correlation there, but I too love the Cheesecake Factory. I do think they have a bit too many options on their menu for a girl like me. I like a one, two page menu at, at best, but I just ordered the same thing and I love it. It's, it's consistently delicious. <laughs> <laughs> she's in stitches. What happened at Cheesecake Factory? What happened there? And Roseanne, you were notorious for being a tyrant on your sitcom. In fact, the entire cast and crew always had to walk on eggshells around you because you just could not stop eating eggs. <laughs> she said that's right? All right, I need to do like some Roseanne history digging situation. What? She likes eggs? And so she eats them a lot? <laughs> but here's something positive because you had gastric bypass surgery in 1998 she did and then you beat it <laughs> but roseanne despite everything i just said there is not a comic alive who doesn't owe a great debt to you. You're a great sport for being here tonight. Thank you for letting me be here, too. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. She also had, I just learned so many facts about Roseanne that I, I mean, I don't know why I would know them, uh, but I just learned them. And so thank you, Jesse. I mean, I always call him Jesse. Anthony Jesselnick. Uh, <laughs> he always just takes it there. Just... 
no matter how offensive or cringe or like taboo, he takes it there. You can count on him. Count on him. And we appreciate him for his consistency in that. And what we can expect, he shall deliver. All right, kids, go have the day you deserve. Peace.